well, casters, listen. It is all too easy to buy into the belief that your body is just not good enough. It's too easy to feel inadequate, like you need to constantly change who you are and what you look like just to fit into an ideal of beauty. Stop. Breathe. Ah. <sighs> Today on WellCast, we're going to be talking about body image. Sometimes we get so focused on the parts of our bodies that we wish we could change that we forget to recognize how amazing we are. Here we offer five suggestions to help you quiet the unhealthy negative thoughts about your shape and size and boost your self-esteem. Step one, look inward and be your own inspiration. The average American model is 5'11 and weighs 117 pounds, meaning she's 7 inches taller and weighs 23 pounds less than the average woman. What you see on the runway is like a crazy funhouse image rather than real life. So don't chase airbrushed, back-breaking ideals, and instead ask yourself, what makes you memorable? Don't punish yourself for your so-called flaws and recognize the attributes that make you an individual. Strength can be found in differences. What a boring world it would be if we all looked exactly the same. Aim to be the best you you can be. Step two, think about this. You don't want to sacrifice your future health for your current figure. Especially if you're in middle school or high school, How you treat your body now will greatly affect how you develop for the rest of your life. Did you know you can actually be ruining your body prematurely with excessive dieting, strenuous weightlifting, or taking steroids and supplements to build muscle? Cut it out! Your body is still growing, and the shape you have now is definitely not permanent. Think of your teen years as the one long transition period. So chill out. Let your body take the shape it was meant to. You'll be far more beautiful and healthy in the long run. Three, don't keep moving goalposts back. It's easy to try to aspire to people like Beyonce or Kim Kardashian, work really hard at a sculpted chest like Cristiano Ronaldo. But if you aim to shape your body just like someone else's, you're fighting a losing battle. Genetics are largely responsible for determining a person's shape and size. You cannot fight nature. Step back from these athletes, models, actors you admire from a distance, and look at all the cool men and women around you in your immediate life who manage to balance family, career, and exercise. Everyone gets a boost from a compliment, so remind these individuals just how beautiful they are, inside and out, and that they inspire you. Hey, you never know who else around you is feeling blue. Your cuticles are immaculate. Step four, talk it out with someone who specializes in health. Hey, if you have real concerns about your size, go ahead and speak to your doctor, your coach, your fitness instructor, or physical education teacher. They're going to help you set small goals for yourself. They can instruct you on the safest way to bulk up or slim down based on your body type. They have dedicated their lives to studying health and wellness and they'll be your best and most personalized resource for helping you determine the safest and most effective path for getting the results that you desire. Step five, step away from the mirror and help somebody else. Assessing your appearance for hours each day can turn you into a self-obsessed monster. Instead, get out of your head and go do something for others. Get involved in an after-school tutoring program or gather a group of friends to help out at a local shelter. Volunteering will help you gain experience and it will lift your mood. Plus, you'll probably make new friends while helping others. Everybody wins. To recap, Wellcasters, you are perfect as you are. Rather than obsess about sculpting a built body, shift your focus onto what's fabulous about your shape and size. If you have real concerns, Ask a professional for health and fitness advice based on your specific situation. And lastly, be active in your community and make sure your eating and exercise habits are smart and safe long-term choices. <sighs> uh, well, that's all from me today, Wellcasters. 
would you do me a kindness? Subscribe to our channel. Sign up for our newsletter to receive sneak peeks and other awesome stuff. See you later.